guys, what is up? It is Kamsam and welcome back to another Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Reaction Video! Woohoo! So for today, we will be reacting to episode 7 and from what I recall when we last watched episode 6, this is mainly a Mahito versus Mekamaru fight and Geto is somewhat there on the side just watching, you know. And I'm honestly very very excited for this because it's very action. Pack, I think from what we're getting at is very action packed. I also remember seeing like a flashback, I think, to Miwa during the preview from episode 6. So, so I'm very, very curious to know, like, why was it there? Does it have any, you know, significant meaning? So yeah, I'm very, very excited to see all of this fight go on and hopefully I don't get depressed after this. But just before I get into the video, just like always, be sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment and like as well. Now that aside, I know you guys are extremely excited for this video, so let's just get into it. Let's go! Okay, yeah, so we've got like the gigantic Mecha Maru fighting Mahito. I swear, if Mahito is not yet dead after this, I don't even know anymore. And he's somehow not yet dead. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he's somehow not yet dead how even how even i don't get it that's like this is like one year worth of like like curse energy saved right this is this is the thing ultimate mecha mar so absolute armored puppet also make mar puppet okay okay yeah this is charged for a year okay okay oh no okay, this is the blast this is this is the blast. This is this is what I like wondering how if like Mahito is still alive after this. Cause if he is, I don't even know anymore how he is. Like literally the thing was on his like face. Was on like it was so close to him as we saw it. And he's not yet dead. What the frick? Ooh. Evening festival, episode thirty one. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. I think I think it's so wrong to be excited for this arc. I don't even know why. I think I think it's I, there's something in me that's saying that like it's so wrong to feel this excited. Dude, I swear I I can't be the only one who thinks of this, but Ma whoa, okay, that was smooth. Okay, but Mahito's like personality is like he's like literally a child. That's what I can't stop thinking about every time I see this man. Like I think that's what makes him cute. In my in my defense, is he's he's cute because he has that childish personality. But like I I, I hate him. I, I I don't like him. I don't like him. Still, is, is it is this just it? Like they're just gonna keep like Mahito's just gonna keep. Oh, he turned into a fish. Two years, two years. Okay, he's gonna drain himself. Okay. Oh, okay. What did he plug in? Technique loading. Four chances. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Lock on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. Whoa. Holy moly! Oh my gosh! Wah! 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 Karma! I love it! Five years?! Dude, he's gonna drain himself, I swear! This man's gonna die, I already see it! This man's gonna die! He's, he's literally draining himself, like... Oh my god, that's so colorful, that's so pretty! This, okay, I, I'm gonna call it already, okay? So, so far, if you watch my videos, you know that every time I call a character's death or like something bad happens, it happens. So, I have a feeling that this man is gonna die. Mekamaru's gonna die because he's lit literally draining himself right now just to destroy Mahito. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh no! Oh no! I don't know if he's... I want to see everyone. <gasps> oh! oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> oh no, 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 
no, I knew it. He is he's gonna die. Okay. What what is this method, dude? Stop stop giving getting the de- go go into it. Don't give me the details. Okay, well uh, the binding vow prohibited the technique from being leaked. One cell from being harmed by the domain. Oh, he's gonna like put a veil over himself or something. The domain of the weak. Oh, my God. Me what? Me wait. Wait, Miwa? What is she doing here? Oh my god! (gasps) My dude is so cool! Oh my god, this dude is so cool! Please don't die! Oh my god, you you <gasps> Oh no 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 Oh no Oh no Oh <laughs> wait I'm sorry I'm kinda speechless right now because I'm so nervous <laughs> Oh my god Oh I visit you. Wait, why am I crying? If you get too close, you get very sad when they are gone. But I really like a current relationship. You couldn't participate in a baseball game last time. Oh yeah, that was the first season. The way it ended, they had the baseball match. I love it. Oh my god. Oh, I hate this man. I hate this man. <laughs> God Oh gosh Oh Okay so we're at the half point already What what is gonna go I haven't even recovered from Mekamaru yet but okay here we are Oh it is the Halloween So it's been ten days if I'm correct Okay a veil has been dropped? Why? Ooh! Okay, at least I know what happens when someone bumps into the veil. At least I know what happens. Because I was kind of curious about that. Oh, oh, what? What on earth is happening? Hello? Just why I never did Halloween. <laughs> Oh, Nanami, Megumi, and yeah, I forgot that dude. I'm sorry. Oh, so they have to find the person who did the the veil, the curtain. Oh my gosh, Panda is so cute. What? Oh, Gaja, Gaja, yay, Gaja, let's go. Oh my god, it ended there. So technically, they can go out now, right? The people. Oh my gosh. You know, I just, I just, I just realized the, the, how do I explain this? The way the episode flows is very interesting. Because like, we got, we got the Mekomaru fight, right? At the first half. 
And I can say I have still not yet emotionally, re- like, I have not emotionally recovered yet. We've got, and then this, this second half, this second half, it's more on, like, information. Information, like, it's it's inviting you to watch the fight because this is where the action is about to begin. It's like, it's making you anticipate stuff already. So it's very interesting how the literal flow of the episodes go from, like, it's either very, like, anticipation-ish, like, very non-action-ish, and then when it goes to the second half, it goes into the action parts. Or it's the opposite. So action parts first and then goes into like the information stuff. So I I think that's that's very interesting about the flow of like each episode. I kind of noticed this as well. Like in the first episode of the Shibuya arc. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing like these people again. Suku ah Sukuna ah I'm seeing <laughs> Suku Natale Yuji yeah, and I'm seeing like the curse, like the one that looks like a volcano, the one that looks like Mike Wazowski, and the other one, the one that has like horns on the head, the one that takes flowers, I think, from what I remember. So yeah, we're seeing, I think, I think like next episode, there's going to be a lot of action. I don't know if I should be scared, because I was kind of hyped up for the Mikamaru fight, but like, since we're here now, and I'm emotionally like damaged from the Mekomaru fight. I have no idea how I'm gonna react now. <laughs> so let's see, let's see. Okay guys, so some thoughts on the episode. I kinda said them when the closing was playing, but I'll just repeat them. So um I guess the first thought is the flow of the episode episodes actually is quite interesting from what I've noticed. So usually the flow of the episodes is like you get a very you get like two halves right i know you get halves because they literally put the cutscene of the jujutsu kaisen logo in the middle so you get like a first half a second half what's very interesting i guess about the flow is that first half if you get like an information filled first half the second half is gonna be like very action-packed so just to prefer I guess best best example is like episode 6 which was the last episode we watched before episode 7. So like episode 6 it was all the UG love romance things right? And then when we got to the second half it was Mekamaru versus Mahito so that was very very action packed. And then when it ends like that it usually like turns around turns around uh, in the next episode so since we ended on the action part in episode 6, in episode 7, that's where it starts. Which makes sense because you gotta start where you ended, right? We started with very action-packed fight of Mahito versus Mekamaru. And then we got when the half when the half came and we got to the second half. It was already like introducing us. It was already like giving us the feel of the Shibuya arc fight. The main fight, I guess. Cause like you know the veil was put down what they call the curtain people were trapped inside the veil i have no idea why i mean i think the other supervisors could couldn't also figure out why because it seems like they were all waiting for gojo to get into the veil and do something because according to the man right there to the random npc he said that you know Gojo Satoru has to be there and then the people can go out. So no one no one really knows why the veil was put down. They don't really know who put it down, but all they just know is that they're gonna need Gojo. <laughs> Another thing that I find very very interesting is that the f- I don't know how to put it in the words, okay? So I'm gonna try my best to explain this. This episode, it didn't really like, I don't know if it's just me, because I have a slow brain, okay? But for me, it felt like Mekamaru's death didn't instantly sink in. I just felt that he was already dying until we got that Miwa cutscene. Where, like, she was telling Mekamaru that, you know, she wants to do the baseball game again with everyone because Mekamaru wasn't able to join, sadly. So yeah, for me, as a, as a viewer, I'm not really sure how to explain this, but like, Mekamaru's death then really like it, it 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 gave you that feeling okay that he was about to die i already called it because he was like literally putting out too much energy 
he was he was using all his resources just to kill Mahito and Geto. And we all know Mahito is kind of unkillable unless you kill his soul. I don't know, really know how you kill his soul actually. So yeah, I guess in the last few like scenes of the fight, especially when like the Miwa cutscene came in, like when she was talking with Mekamaru telling him about the baseball fight and everything. That's that's when it just started to sink in with me. Like, oh my god, this man is gonna die. And we know that Miwa and him has somewhat a chemical relationship, chemical connection. So yeah, at that moment, I started my I think I don't know, I, you guys know this right. I was starting to like cry. And that's what I really really like about it because the flow of the entire first half of the episode was like it was letting you know that something was gonna happen already to make Amaru. Like somehow it was already giving you that kind of clues, like him using too much cursed energy. Um, he was in the domain expansion. Luckily, he got out and all of that. He did use like the last bullet thing. I'm not really sure what it was, but he did la- use like the last bullet thing and all of that. Like it was already giving you signs that he would die. But as a viewer, and because this man is insanely cool, I hate it. For me, it didn't feel like he was about to die. Like, there was some hope in me that was, like, wishing that he doesn't die. Because, cause, you know, he he barely had anything. Right? He just wanted to see everyone. <laughs> this this might be me coping, though. <laughs> this might be me, like, going through, like, copiuming. When it gets you to that Miwa cutscene, that's when you realize that like it's already there like this is gonna happen yeah that's what i actually really liked about the first half to be honest like it doesn't shock you it doesn't shock you with his death it slows it slowly like puts you in it and that's what i really really like about it i'm not sure if i'm explaining this properly or i'm just word vomiting so i'm just trying my best really to explain it because this is what i felt like when i was watching second half i can't really say a lot because it is it, it is like the introduction to the main fight of the Shibuya arc. So I'm really, really excited to see the Shibuya arc. I actually don't know how to feel anymore now that we got Mekamaru dead. But yeah, as I said, those are all my thoughts at the moment. If I were to guess, episode 8 would start already with the main fight of the Shibuya arc. Maybe something to do with Gojo. Because the last scene was him entering, right? And we saw a lot of fighting in the preview. So most likely, it will be very action-packed for episode 8. That's how the first half will go. Second half, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I'm very, very excited for it. Other than that, since the episode just finished, let us end this video really quickly as well. So I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me until the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if ever you watched episode 7 of Jujutsu Kaisen season 2, I hope you enjoyed it as well. We're getting through this depressing journey together i guess <laughs> but yeah other than that since we are gonna be waiting for episode 8 while we're doing that please always remember to stay safe and i will see you guys in the next reaction video come